actually have li- I haven't listened to any of our old podcasts yet, but I actually li- was listening to the RT podcast on my way here. The Rooster Teeth podcast. Yeah, oh, come on, Trado. It's like I'm just listening to the competition. I'm like, I could have listened to ours. I'll the just- competition. We will not get to that level. <laughs> I don't know. Colin, we Colin, might. Calling you out. We'll try. Bernie. Uh, are we recording? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to finally, Beneath the Table. Finally, the intro I've always wanted. That's right. Welcome to Beneath the Table, guys. I love impromptu. I'm Matthew. I'm Tyler. And I'm Jacob. Oh, guys, welcome back to this table. We're we really missed... good at we're really good at sounding the same every podcast with how we introduce ourselves. I know. Okay, I... there's actually like three tables here. That's true. We have three tables. <laughs> One of them is supported by milk crates. There's a shelf over there. There's two huh? shelves actually, and a pantry. In a pinch, yeah, okay. <laughs> a TV and then a TV too. So we miss, also known as a second TV. So if everybody's been keeping up with the podcast, you might have noticed me? the last two episodes kind of don't make sense in the way we talk about things. Mainly because we record things in bulk at times, and we missed last week because it was like a Costco Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I knew and that. And my my thing is is that like. I'm kind of I'm kind of salty about that because we didn't we actually didn't oh, I just used the word salty we we That's we bad we, we didn't yeah, yeah, basic it's rough we we <laughs> all I need is UGG boots and a Starbucks gift card there's something wrong with Starbucks <laughs> just just shut up fill me a frappuccino and get me a chicken wrap <laughs> oh wow um, <laughs> good night everybody we anyway. salty because we didn't do a Thanksgiving episode yeah because we didn't that, do a Thanksgiving episode yeah, we did a Halloween s- one I know well that came out on Halloween. I was I it was in the works for a Thanksgiving episode. Uh, I it guess just should, I, I guess time kind of I've lost track of when we recorded it and when things came out. And so like oh crap, it's almost Thanksgiving. I don't have yeah. anything recorded yet. We need to do a uh, we we'll we, definitely we're, do we're a, gonna do a Christmas one. We that's right. And then we should do a Hanukkah one. No I shalom don't believe and welcome to beneath the table. <laughs> shalom. <I am. laughs> oh my goodness, we're so racist here sometimes. <laughs> this is the racist about. That's what they say. Yeah, who? <laughs> it's the contents of who we're using it. That's in. literally always what I do whenever I'm like, I'm gonna do my Jewish impression, and then I'm like, Shalom, and then that's about it. <laughs> like I'm not Jewish. I know that's a we word. We could do a whole lot worse. I could. That's true. You could do a whole lot worse. We all could. Everybody in the world could do a whole lot worse when it comes to racism. <laughs> the more you know. Stop. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna cut that out. Yeah, no, cut this it's, part it's, out. it's staying in. Oh wow. Okay. So what happens when you give the editing to me? <laughs> Dis- Jeez. Disclaimers: Our views and opinions do not match that of our um, show host Matthews. <laughs> oh, we all know it's joking. I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's been... Disclaimer: uh... Not everyone does. <laughs> you know what, Matt? I appreciate you not being politically correct. It's okay. I mean, our president's not politically correct either. You mean correct? He likes to tweet. He, he does. does like to tweet. I we'll never it. get political on beneath the table, does he, folks. Does he That's actually... right. We might just say some stupid things that were completely wrong. Of course, I went on it, to be this, honest. This is probably, like, the most political we're about to get with this question, because I just genuinely want to know. Does he, like, even use the POTUS Twitter, or does he just use his personal No, he one? uses his po- he uses personal, personal one. Because like, um, usually, when they're president, they use the POTUS for most of the time of them being in office, especially when they talk about the president stuff, which he does on his personal. Yeah. So it's just like... He quiet. also gets his information from Fox News. News. Well, here's the thing. It's going to be a long time before anyone is able to top the whole Kafef thing. Ah. Kafifi, whatever it was. Kafefe. I, still was don't, so I still don't know what he was trying to tweet. I don't day. either, but it was funny. Um, <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, that's a little too political now, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. Say, oh, now we're getting the Kafef line. It's getting too political. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody. the Czech Republic is shushed. They renamed or something. <laughs> the Kafef Republic? <laughs> yeah, they're the Kafefe. They're the Kafefe Republic. But they Ooh. renamed like, sh- sh- the, the Shikaya... Republic uh, uh, to Shikayan Shakira. Uh, the go, Shakira go to the go to the go to the start the show. Start the episode. <laughs> <laughs> go. Oh, Sorry, I got too close to the mic. It's so funny. Oh gosh. Oh, all right. So you know what? The year is almost over, and that means there's been movies that happened this year. Well, a lot of movies. Lots of them, folks. A lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones. I've seen mostly good though. I've seen all good ones, mainly because I avoid bad movies. Also, I don't believe in painful bad movies or supporting I, bad movies. I just don't want. I want to support often. bad movies. Look, everyone has a right to artistic expression, even if it sucks. Because I kind of want to see the sucky ones too. Do you though? Do you want to pay ten dollars to go see a sucky movie? Okay, well, when it gets to me, I'll tell you about the sucky experiences I had. I mean, well, let's all agree. When you go to a movie, it's <laughs> no cheap feat to go to the movie. No, it's expensive. <laughs> 
and the, especially if it's like when you go to like those indie movie festivals and it's just, it's just an indie movie about two gay cowboys eating pudding what <laughs> it's from it's a quote from some show okay i was about to say have you gone to an indie film cut festival? this out but i was really afraid where that sentence was going no <laughs> i was like excuse me what is he about to say no it's oh. from a show it's from some show i saw on like tbs no um but yeah i think we've seen a, we've seen a lot of movies this year we have because like during the summer we went to like what five dollar movie night at the mo- movie theaters Oh yeah, the um the Tuesday five dollars. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the okay, and, the and I ones. throughout the summer it was me and Aaron went to see a movie every Monday. Yeah, you guys didn't invite me to like halfway through. I'm sorry, Matt. That Aaron. was a me and Aaron thing for a while. Gosh, Aaron likes me more anyways. That's right? good. Uh, that's probably true. <laughs> that's why I suck it. Does anyone use Fandango? Yes, yeah, I do. That's where I get all my prequel tickets from. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't used. trust any other place to get prequel tickets. Speaking of prequels, tickets. Star Wars is soon, <laughs> but that's not a that's prequel. Not a prequel this year. It's a sequel. That was last year. I said, sorry, I meant I didn't mean prequel. T- I prequel. I meant like tickets to buy in advance. Luke's the villain. Nah. I don't know. He was on the Sith poster. How about if I piss you off again by calling what happens, and then you look at me in the theater and go, "I hate you." What did you What did you call last time? I called Han dying before the movie even did started. You? I didn't even know. I, I honestly had that no out. idea. It was never. It was never spoiled See, to me. Everything as far as what happens to Han Solo in Star Wars movies to me, I always guess because of Harrison Ford. Like I could have called that he would have died at the end because he didn't want to do them. And then after everyone seen the movie, one of my buddies, he was just like, "Hey, Tyler." Did you see Star Wars? I'm like, yeah. And then he was like, so do you think Han Solo's gonna come back? I'm like, no. He's like, dead. Yeah. He's like, what makes you say? What makes you say that? I'm like, because Harrison Ford doesn't want to do another Star Wars movie. <laughs> I mean, he's, a, he's, a, he's 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 well, not that he doesn't like it. He just said he was. He's like, I think Han's had his time. Yeah. You know, it's it's done. <laughs> That's well, why like, that's the thing. I was like, okay, Han Solo's gonna die in this movie, and Isaac and Matt were like, nah. And then as soon as he started walking out on that bridge. And Matt looked yeah. me in the eyes and just goes, you suck. I hate you. I don't remember this, to be honest. I did not write the movie, for one thing. Yeah, like, it was the friggin' pit that looked almost exactly like the um, the Nebulous Void or whatever that... Uh, um, Luke and Vader fought? fought. No, yeah. Well, that Luke and Vader and also that uh, Palpatine fell into when a bunch oh. of birds bothered him. <laughs> 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 now, um, before we move on to, like, the main topics of the episode... Palpatine was my favorite character. Um, I just want to say... Uh, who Wei's father is and mother it's Luke and Leia not Luke and Leia what am I saying it's um I, it's Han and oh, Leia no. incorrect <laughs> wait a minute no wait a minute no it's uh it's Han I, and Leia guys I, we I all know it <laughs> oh no. oh no Han and Leia that Ways was basically everyone's pants. reaction when they watched the very first, like, when they watched episode four when there weren't the prequels, and then it's like, oh, they're sisters, and then everyone was like, oh, no. <laughs> that was already like, oh, they're the couple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess we're going to start with, uh, we're just, well, in case you didn't get understand what the topic is, we're talking about movies we saw this year. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll quit before we saw it for a break. I thought we were talking about Seinfeld. No. But no. <laughs> we should, we should <laughs> next week's podcast top ten Seinfeld episodes. I've never watched Seinfeld. I don't like Seinfeld all that Thank much. I, I was more of a Friends guy. Yeah. Same. Anyways, before we break, here are the movies we want to talk about. So you can skip around if you want. We want to talk about Logan or Justice League. That's really up to title when we get to the episode. Hello. Part. Uh, Jacob, you want to talk about... I'm going to talk about Kong Skull Island and the new Transformers movie. I don't remember the tagline because I choose not to remember it. Who does? And I will talk about the most amazing, Wasn't spectacular, it? ultimate movie there was. Spider-Man Homecoming. Wasn't it Revenge of the Fallen? Or was that the fourth one? That was like the fourth one, I think. I'll look it up before. <laughs> it was some. It was something night. Oh, my guys. Know. Maybe it was... Oh, Ar- oh, the last night. The last yeah, night. Yeah, Arkham Knight. Transformers, Arkham Knight, Batman. Hold on, guys. We'll be right back after the sponsorship. 